Hi friends and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my greenhouse and my garden. I'm Kristen. This is technically the first video for this channel but I do have another channel called Crafty Kristen and Halls which I used to post garden videos on that channel as well though I decided to separate my crafting and gardening videos so I'm creating another channel for just gardening and homesteading um, so welcome welcome to my channel I hope you enjoy my gardening videos I am no expert by no means I am just someone who loves to garden it's in my nature all my family members garden so I'm just wanting to share um, my gardening adventures with you all. If you want to see all my other gardening videos, I will be putting um, in the description below my other channel. So if you want to go over there, get caught up, see what I've been up to, um, you're more than welcome. Um, but this channel is where I'm going to be putting all my garden videos. So I'm going to do a little update. Uh, the gardening, the garden is, um, well underway it is super big it is producing tons and tons of vegetables and fruits so i just want to go around um i do have a lot of stuff that need to be harvested that needs to be pulled out so um my garden is not really the prettiest garden but it does work well for me so so here's all my carrots got tons and tons and tons of carrots I actually thinned these out quite a few times so hopefully I can get a good harvest on them uh, I don't see anyone really poking out I do see a few but not too many but when I was looking at my carrots I came across this little guy so I don't know what kind of caterpillar it is. I am gonna leave him. I'm not gonna move him. He needs to eat too. And I got tons and tons of carrots. So more power to him. He's more welcome to come and enjoy. I'm just hoping it's nothing bad. <laughs> if anyone knows what kind of caterpillar this is, um, please let me know in the comments. So, um, here are my habandas. Uh, habandas are habaneros with no heat. Very super excited. I've never grown these before. It's my first year and I am getting tons of them. So I'm hoping they have a really good habanero taste because that's what they're supposed to be. Um, and without the heat because I do not like heat that much. <laughs> My husband does, but I don't. So, and I got these from Baker's Creek, the Habandas. And here's all my peppers. Peppers, 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 and more peppers. <laughs> um, this section right here, I'll go through it really super quick, are my green bell peppers, my mixed peppers, my mini reds, and my mini orange. I did harvest some of the mini reds over there on that table. But here is what the mini reds. Oh, I got one more back there. Yay. So I got lots. I got lots and lots of um, bells. These are the mixed mix bells. These are not green bells. These are mixed. So it can be, what was it? Purple, orange, red, green, white. So I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for them to change color. Watch my luck. It'll be all the screen. <laughs> so in this section, section right here um, is all my mild uh, green chili peppers. Um, I grew these because I'm going to make homemade Rotel. And I'm going to can that. So very excited about that. So it's green hatch and um, I keep, always keep forgetting the other, but they're both a mild pepper. So and here's what these look like. 
very very nice here's some more so I already harvested um, a batch of these they're in my refrigerator um, so they don't go bad but I am very soon going to be doing my rotel because I got tons of tomatoes so here is my banana peppers here's my cat Kiki yep um, tons and tons of um, banana peppers and jalapenos I am just so overloaded so this is just a big giant mix of bananas and habaneros so I have to get in here and harvest 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 <laughs> it's just so busy during the summer with vacations and all you know okay here's my sad tomato bed it is so sad looking blight definitely got into here but the tomatoes are fine I harvested the, this many tomatoes it's three different kinds of tomatoes it's um, a, um, heirloom tomato a Bonnie's best tomato is really good for canning I heard and these smaller tomatoes almost looks like aroma but with a different color so super excited but yeah in this bed I will never do it again I actually um, plant I put in 32 plants <laughs> in this one bed I will never do that again but I didn't want all the plants to go to waste so it is what it is so like I said I am no expert gardener okay and this bed which is full of weeds so please don't judge um, I definitely have to go and get the um, weed but um, barrier cloths for next year here is my Brussels sprouts they're super huge go back a little bit this whole section right here is my asparagus my first year with it I got two more years and then I can harvest over here is my sad looking corn um, I tried to grow sweet corn did not work and I have Indian and gem glass corn which they're huge um, not too impressed with the size of the corn well that one looks really nice but there's a lot of skinny little ones like right there that one right there so we'll see um, also strawberry popcorn is planted in there and yes I'm getting that I'm sick excited here are my sunflowers I'm letting these dry out so I can harvest the sunflower seeds I already harvested two heads I left these guys up here to naturally dry out because they're actually protecting the corn from really strong winds. So that's why I left those. All right, this section right here are my potatoes, first year grown potatoes, and I've uh, did an experiment on growing them in containers. So they're starting to die back now. So as soon as they're all the way died back, then I will do a harvest video on them. This little container right here is just has some really pretty flowers in it. I actually um, planted some beans, some green beans, just a few, just for yucks. So hopefully I'll have enough growing time for them because my first batch of beans did not turn out and this is that bed with the green beans so some of them are starting to poke out so hopefully I'll have enough time to get at least one harvest but in my area we have such a short growing season that probably won't work okay so this craziness right here is all my vines which I'm doing a new setup next year so this section is all my pickling cucumbers which they're pretty much done I can probably just go ahead and pull those 
these are my regular garden cucumber. Again, I'm pretty sure these are all done too. They're not really producing that well anymore. So I'll probably pull those. And these are my cabbages that I have left that I still need to harvest. So I did harvest quite a bit of them. That's what these empty spots are here. And then the other side of this is my loofahs and I'm so excited. First time ever growing loofahs and I'm getting tons of them. So, so excited. Let me see if I can show you a few so that I know where they're at. Jungle. See it? So there's one. And they're all throughout. I mean, there's so many in here. It's crazy. So, oh, here's a really big one. Yeah. So next year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a trellis, a big giant trellis. Um, because these do grow pretty, pretty crazy. And why isn't this focusing anymore? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah. And then the last area is our pumpkins. They are starting to die because we ended up getting um, those little, uh, what do you call them, boars? It's little worms that gets into your vines and they pretty much eat your vines from the inside out. So my pumpkins are starting to turn because of it, but I got some pretty big pumpkins. So I'm hoping they all mature before all the vines die off. But look at this. This guy is huge kind of hard to tell but he's he's pretty big and I have several other pumpkins all different sizes throughout in here and again next year we're going to get the weed um, barrier lay it down for our pumpkins so they're not fighting against the grass and the weeds and everything else. All right. Oh, and those are my chickens. My little dog. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this garden video. Um, I enjoyed showing you all it. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And welcome, welcome, and until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.